This is the new face of Adrabin and Asipin communities. The biggest beneficiaries of the project, perhaps, is the Adrabin Basic School. The project came at a time the water situation was dying. When this was not there, you know, our children will go a far distance before they can get the water. So I think it will help us a lot. Before the construction of the project, we were suffering because of lack of water. Sometimes we went searching for water and by the time we returned, we got wet. Now that we have this project, I am happy. The project is expected to supply water uninterrupted to residents and nearby communities. Due to the water, the children over here will be uh, going to school late uh, here and there. The parents are very suffering. When going to farm, they need to get water before going to farm, but they'll be passing through a long distance of process before reaching to their destination of water. We are, we are, we are very relieved, and you, see, you, can, you could see from their faces, they are all happy that this water has, has now reached to their destination. A charity organization, Well Foundation of Saudi Arabia, funded the project at a cost of 30,000 Ghana cities. It brings to 63 the number of boreholes constructed by the foundation in various communities across Ashanti region. Sheikh Mohsen Bafi is country representative. 63rd project we've done so far. We have some in Abu Abu, we did some at uh, Boho, we did at Bremai, we did at Efijasi, Asokwari, a lot of villages and countries. And this is what we are capitalizing on, impacting the villages at least to make sure that they get the daily necessity very easily. He says the initiative is to promote access to quality drinking water in order to prevent waterborne diseases. To save humanity and also to serve our dear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At least we know we do these jobs to please our Lord and also to make sure that the people too live as human beings, no matter where they find themselves. Sheikh Bafi underscores the need to properly maintain the facility while committing to continued assistance to bring relief to deprived communities. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reporting.